reason that the witch cult is here is to get the remains of a certain witch. And if you've seen the cut content, which is not spoilers, it is the Witch of Pride, Typhon. No, not Typhon. Not, uh, uh I'm gonna pronounce it the way that Japanese people are doing because we're weaves here. It's Typhon. And the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. My theory on why the Witch Cult wants Typhon's bones is... Let's take it back. They're all lollicons. Witch Cult are all lollicons. Pandora is their leader. I think they want to retrieve Tifone's bones, make Tifone broth, and they want to drink it. Mm -hmm. That's my theory. Let's begin today's reaction. <sighs> oh god, Mimi. Gorgeous tiger, please save them. This is definitely the work of Wrath, maybe? I don't know, actually. It could be anybody. Oh, there's a thick-ass boy, and there's a slim girl. They're both swordsmen. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we should get the fuck out of here right now. Okay. Get out. We gotta get out. Yo, I feel like these are not regular cult members. This is a beefy ass boy and this is a very slim girl. They're both swordsmen as well. Like, I don't know about this. Like, these are not rank and file like soldiers of the cult. These are not the random like fingers that Betrugis was hanging around. I don't like this. They're hiding themselves. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Good question. It's to get, you know, the kids, the dad. Dude, I swear to God, if Mimi gets hurt because Garf is too prideful right now and wants to fight, I'm gonna just. Oh my God. This has to be a guy, right? Are these titties? It's. Mm hmm. I, I, <laughs> it could be man titties. <laughs> it definitely could be. <laughs> I am fucking know. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's a beefy ass person and a slim person over here. Where have we seen blades like this? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One second, one second. ReZero. I'm probably not cooking right now. No, I'm not cooking at all. Basically, what I wanted to do was find this character here. And I thought that maybe the blade somehow resembled Ricardo's shit because Ricardo's still missing, but I ain't cooking. I have no clue who the fuck this is. Skip opening? Skip opening? Skip opening! Okay, it's one of those episodes. Felt. Heinkel's taking Felt hostage? Oh shit. Heinkel making his move. As if. Oh my. Bro! Because, like, already having so many different places to pop up, we can only allocate Reinhardt to one solution. But if Heinkel now literally benches Reinhardt... Are you serious? Another creative way for Tate to nerf Reinhardt. And it makes sense. Giga felt. Who's a killer? Yo, fuck your assets, old man. Giga felt. I don't think he can do that though. Reinhardt's a hero. And that's all he's ever gonna be. Maybe that line fits here? I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm trying to force it, but like this moment, I don't think Reinhardt can do anything about this. Would he just leave felt? It's kind of surprising that he can't just defeat Heinkel right now. He's so OP. I know that Heinkel's blade is literally at Felt's throat, but Reinhardt, you're still Reinhardt. You can't solve this problem yourself? And then the other part is, I guess, is like, even if he did, it's the whole like succession. It's about how, you know, Reinhardt's, you know, basically the Von Austria assets are all attached to Heinkel for being bad to him. You know, I, you, you've seen episode one, right? It's, it's, it's bad for the future. I still think that this is Satala. And then outside of it, when we're not feeling sorry, when she's going crazy, that's the Witch of Envy. Remember the difference due to the split personality, due to the incompatibility with the Envy Witch Factor. Al. Subaru didn't read the cut content. <laughs> and another thing is how Anastasia even knew about the cult's plans to retrieve the remains of the witch, which further makes me think that Anastasia definitely knew ahead of time that Pristella was 
basically under siege and she planned on inviting the succession the other royal candidates right it's all planned out from the beginning there is no way this is random chance it's supposed to be bones right the 10 important people of Pistella could be him Chan Sama. Mm, what's going on there, man? But was it a taunt, Al? Her hair color, eye color was a bit pink, more, not red, more pink, and the fang. Something about that's so off to me. But it's just a story. <laughs> 50 years ago. Old as fuck. But then again, in ReZero, I don't think age really means much when you look at different characters. Capella looks like a lolly. I thought that she was around like Belt's age, but she existed over 50 years ago. But I still definitely think that this Emeralda Capella Lugunika Chan Sama definitely could be her. Ruthless. Kind of like Capella. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Come on, don't... <laughs> Need more lore. How dare you cut off Wilhelm while he's introduced into a such important lore of who Capella could be. And then you fucking... Oh! And now we're not gonna hear more about Capella, bro. We ain't gonna hear about Capella anymore. Yes, sir. You know, I'm not worried for Julius. You know who I'm more worried about? It's fucking his brother. Because his brother was the one delivering a very important letter regarding gluttony. And remember, whenever we deal with letters in ReZero, things always go bad. Season 1, Rem letter, blank, because memory's gone. Season 2, Ros no, Amelia letter, that was for Amelia, gone. Amelia went fucking crazy. Like, again, like, I, I guarantee you the brother, I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh, Hetaro. TV? Ricardo? No. No. No, what happened to fucking girl? What happened? Carfield, please, please don't let her be dead. Injury? Fine, don't let her be dead. What the fuck? TV's- Hetaro's clothes are bloody too. Like, you've seen the amount of slice of life that's been happening for Mimi. That just means that life's about to get sliced. <laughs> of our divine protection flowed from her into us. They share damage? Trisection. They share damage? There is Capello again. Okay, trisection. They have a divine protection amongst all triplets. They seem to like share damage. That's why Hetaro is all bloodied up. But basically, Mimi's taken damage that's been shared across three, something like that. <laughs> Capella? He keeps calling us meat scraps. Is it beautiful? It's scary. It's crazy. Maniacal. <laughs> Bro, Wilhelm's reaction speed there was crazy though. <laughs> did you did you see that door handle move and Will <laughs> look at this shit again, bro? <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh my god, the door handle just played. <laughs> Don't think about that so funny. One of my favorite Wilhelm scenes is in season one, episode 23, I think. Or basically, it's versus the fingers. Maybe it's not 23, but basically, Wilhelm, like, runs across the water after, like, you know, discovering where the unseen hands are, and he slices the finger off. It happens in, like, a frame. The way he just fucking just ran, just, like, spit across the water is so hype. I think that's Garfield and Mimi. Blue head pack, right? Right, look at that shit. Read, read the dialogue, right? Like, some bad people have attacked the city government's office. I'm assuming that could be Garfield and Mimi. No, maybe it's not. Maybe it's something completely different and Garf Mimi simply just got bodied by those two people. The timing with Capello's maniacal voice and Mimi is just fucking terrible. I don't think she's dead though. Is she dead? There's nothing confirming. I feel like Mimi just took a really bad damage. And the art here, is this aura important? I'm not completely sure. Maybe this is just like imagery. Like, is this aura coming out of Mimi? Like, what is this, you know? Is this supposed to make the scene look cool? Or is this supposed to be coming out of Mimi? As in, like, this is like an effect of the damage. Her laugh. Her laugh, bro. Oh, fuck me.
Blessing of the Grim Reaper. Blessing of the Grim Reaper. Why would Wilhelm make that face? If not something he's familiar with. Cut content, season 2, episode 1. Wilhelm, after the talk with Felix and everybody else and talking about should we disband or ally or not, Wilhelm tells Subaru a secret. He opens up a cut here and it's bleeding because he got cut there by someone that had the Divine Protection of Grim Reaper. Which means it, the closer you are to that person, the more that wound opens up. And that cut was given to him by his wife, Theresia van Austria. If we go back... If we... Why are they hooded? Yo, take that hood off on the right. The left is definitely not Theresia unless she's been bulking. Maybe, maybe Theresia got a lot... Maybe she got really fat. Maybe she just bulked the fuck up. But on the right... But how could that be the case? Theresia apparently died during the White Whale subjugation that failed. But then we got even more information in Season 3, Episode 1. Reinhardt killed Theresia. Why would Reinhardt kill his mom? Or grandma? Because Theresia must have been possessed? Something bad must have happened? She may, went berserk and that's why Reinhardt needs to do it. But then take a step back and think Pandora. Always just default to Pandora and things may make sense. It was all fake maybe at the end of the day. And that's how Theresa is still here. And the divine protection of the Grim Reaper right now. If Wilhelm can confirm, like if he shows us his injury. If Wilhelm shows us his injury right now. That's similar to Mimi's, like 100% that makes sense. There's no way he would be making that kind of sound effect for a simple wound like this. Something is special about this that Wilhelm makes a note of. Mm. Oh, there's that laugh again. So she's spamming the radio comms. We're the Raiders, right? Is it gorgeous tigers, moms, kids, bro? Who are in the building, bro? Are the kids gonna die? Cause of Garfield and me? <laughs> you can hear. There's people all in the- You can hear their fuck this is crazy! You can hear every hostages! <laughs> it's turning that slicing. So right now the hostages are being turned. They're being twisted. Like a corkscrew? Oh, shit. <laughs> the things are getting gra- What is that sound? What is fuck- What is that sound right now? Are people getting grounded up? <laughs> Yo, these lazy ass fucking cult members are telling us to bring the witch's remains. I don't know where the fuck the bones are. Will you give us time to find it at least? Like, like, can we be reasonable and be like, all right, guys, you go find it. I promise I'll do all the slave labor and I'll find it myself. Just like, give us more fucking time. Priscilla 10. You don't have a good impression with this guy, though. Last time we saw Otto, it was with gluttony. Everyone left except Otto, and Otto said, who are you, right? Otto might be fucked, too. Can I just go? Mimi, no, Mimi! <laughs> Yeah, where are they? Where's the bones, bro? You can't move the remains? How vague. The bones are in a place where they cannot be moved. It's just impossible. Why? Yeah, yeah, good question. Literally can't be moved. Is it at the very bottom? A special power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. That just looks like a T-Phone T with her little flower there. I thought it was just gonna be like bones, but this is just looks like a whole ass corpse, like her entire body. The remains apparently was bones, but this shit looks like T-Phone with her hair like that, man, with her little flower. Ooh, Al, how do you know that? Yo, what you- <laughs> This motherfucker just drops the most insane line. Super was like, 
How do you know that? No one asks. Al just, just, Al just literally just like, I'm from Japan too, by the way. I might have an authority. Can you sense the witch's miasma in the back of my helmet? I'm from Wallachia. <laughs> People in the chat, like, come on. Come on. This is so troll. This is so beyond fucking troll. Al, hello? Anyone? Ricardo. Ricardo's back. Garfield is so guilty, bro. Ah. Garf. Gorgeous tiger. Saving Mimi? Does Ricardo know, though? But, like, that. Who knows, right? If we just ran away immediately, maybe Mimi wouldn't have this injury. But Ricardo's thanking him for saving Mimi. Garfield. This is gonna eat Garfield from inside out. Garfield is in such a precarious situation. He is just on the edge with his powers not rivaling Reinhard. Mom's going off with more baby daddies. Mimi is hurt now. It is like the perfect... He is like the most... Like the, like the hormones, the amount of just like crazy shit going on in his brain chemistry as a teenager right now. It's crazy. He's just in a pop-off moment. <laughs> what are you going to do about this, Garfield? <laughs> He is so volatile right now. He's gonna feel even more guilty. Oh. Let's go, leader. Let's go, big man. Okay. Come on, take the hood off. Show me the red hair. Just show me the fucking red hair in there. You have to be Teresia, right? More <laughs> Elsa. That's <laughs> so high, bro. Elsa's literally in her tail beast. It's like, nah, you're not gonna give up now, bro. You need my power? Do you desire my power right now, Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> That's the man titties! It's the extra bro! It's body guy! It's body guy, bro! It's fucking body guy, what the fuck? Okay, multiple arms raised people exist in this world. Cool, blue skinned. Okay, okay, he's four, four hands. <laughs> Elsa, help! Elsa! <laughs> nice clutch, Mimi. Should have protected Mimi like this, bro. He should have prioritized Mimi like this rather than dragging it back. Ugh, it's too fucking late for that. Too late. But it's not like he could have really. It's it's ugh, it's just unfortunate situation. It's just shitty fucking situation. We should have never engaged. We should have ran off. Mimi, no. But she's not dead yet. She's not dead yet. That's the best part. She's not dead yet. Did you see that? You see this? Yo, 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 yo. You see that shit? You see that shit? Wilhelm instinctively going for the injury on his fucking shoulder that got cut out before? Yo, tell us, Wilhelm, what's going on? Tell us, Wilhelm. Divine protection of the bl bl Grim Reaper, tell me. Yeah. There it is. It's a bit different. Death God, Shinigami, it's the same shit. Grim Reaper, Death God, it's the same shit. But this is the cut content from season two. That was so crazy. I can't believe they did not tell us this. Why did they cut that shit out of the anime in season two? That would have been amazing foreshadowing, right? More people could have picked onto this. Like, I have to be so sweaty and go look for cut content and web novel cut content and figure this shit out. It's like, I don't know. What and, then, and then the craziest thing is the elephant in the room is Al. Al has so much cut content. Like, you think this is crazy? The shit that Al is hiding that was shown in season one, that shit blows this out of the water. You're gonna blame yourself, bro. This is kind of like Subaru and mom and dad of like no one like calling him out and him feeling more guilty as no one calls him out. Alright. You better beat Teresia then, huh? Alright. He's back.
easy. That's the best part about Garfield. He is so stupid that he can also just take a little time to just recover like that. Some people are just kind of constantly going to be thinking and just like being like, Oh no, what am I going to do? And ruminate, ruminate, ruminate. No, he's too stupid that like immediately we're back. <sighs> I don't know, what would we do? Yeah, you just have the answers, bro. The wonder drug. I don't know if that's like a uh, translation issue, but <laughs> if I was super, I'd be like, Fuck you, Elias. You need to give me like three or four more runs for me to gather more information. Even I don't know what's gonna happen next. That's right, that's happening too. Fuck. Is that the right priority though? There's so many things going on. I don't know what to do. Mm. Alright, everyone is acknowledged. Subaru is showing growth and development rather than being self-obsessed with his own priorities. Look at that nod from Wilhelm and Julius. Let's take care of that meteor. Probably the radio broadcast, right? Everyone's terrified because of this shit. Okay. The squad up. Let's go. <laughs> He's pretty messed up. <laughs> I think this might be the light novel cover. Uh, I, I remember like a light novel cover where basically it's Garfield leading the charge and you have like Wilhelm and Subaru with like an injured leg. I, I remember something like this. This kind of reminded, this kind of reminded me of that. Yeah, the illustration. Okay. Nice. Ow. Huh? What can you do? No one's seen him fight. And it's so troll. It's so troll because they're clearly keeping him as one of the most secret characters ever. Are we gonna see him fight this season? If we do, because like, it's highly likely that he may have an authority. It truly is because there's, again, cut content, right? The helmet the witch's miasma right something is very sinister about al everything about him screams like darkness and something else going on he may very well have an authority that we don't even know about and that's why we were like theorizing well what is like a vacant spot right now of all the different which you know are uh, uh, what's called the witch factors it seems like pride is empty could he have the authority of pride i have no clue <laughs> Yeah. What? Oh, fuck you. Oh, get the guy out of here. Okay, I'll see you in arc 8. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh my god. This arc 7, right? Arc 7 is like when he becomes like super important, right? Yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here. If, if Al's not gonna do anything, I better see Priscilla do something. I better see Priscilla actually use the Yang sword, bro. I would. Wait, did you talk? Wait, wait, wait. Did you talk like that? Did you ask Al to vet to see if Al might be more useless than you? And now you're feeling bad because you're the fucking... <laughs> the limiting factor? The worst in the group? <laughs> wait, what don't you, you actually thought Al was on your level? Why? <laughs> Yeah. Yo. True. Remember, he led the charge. I think one of the things that people really forget is how Subaru was so heroic with Patrash and Rem. Everyone was so scared and intimidated. But the person without any power, seemingly, of course he has powers, was Subaru. Even when Wilhelm got swallowed, Subaru led the charge again, relit the morale, right? He was truly a hero back then. This is the other people's perception of him. Remember, he thinks that he's a loser, but to everyone else, he's like Jesus Christ. He's a messiah. Right. Mm. The cut content from last episode. Why should you not tell Gluttony your name? Well, I think I said the same thing in that video where remember season 2 episode 1? Rem and Krush versus uh, Lai and Regulus. I distinctly remember Rem having a full-on introduction. My name is Rem, the head mate of Roswell. Wait, 
the knight super was like a tendon, right? Rem said her name, but Krush didn't. Notice the difference between Krush and Rem right now. Krush's memories are gone, but Rem has her name and memory gone, which makes me think that there is a precondition of the authority of Gluttony, where if you disclose your name, that shit goes away. Maybe. Now, how the fuck does Al know of this? How, how does he know that T-Phone drowned in water? He is so suspicious. He is beyond suspicious. It's stupid how he has this knowledge. No one's asking. <laughs> Alright. See you later, brother. <sighs> no one asked him anything. No one fucking asked Al. How do you know this shit, bro? What the fuck is going on? Alright. I'm getting a bit too jittery. I gotta go take a piss. We're 30 minutes into the fucking reaction. It's probably gonna be another 20. Alright, I'm back. Let's get it. Wash my hands? I'm out of washing, they're clean. Calm down, chill. He hears the word gluttony, he gets so mad. Makes sense. Julius deserves better. This is so fucked up. But an even weird twisted way is how their relationship has developed so much where even Super is saying something like as mean as this reassures Julius. Look at that look. He's like, oh, he's back to saying that bullshit again. Looks like my boy Super has remained his, regained his composure. <sighs> Deep breaths. So what's the plan? Okay. Oh, ponytail crew. Okay. Good luck! Squat up! Are we just gonna get peak action for the rest of the episode? <laughs> Why? Because he was running too slow? Ooh. This is some StarCraft Zerg shit. It's like moving. Are these like egg? Oh wait, the roots are coming from underneath the ground. It's like living. Oh no. It's body and Alicia. <laughs> if this actually is Teresia, this is so sad. Or happy? Should we be happy about this reunion? Like, I don't even fucking know, bro. <laughs> No wounds. Take that hood off. Let's go, Ricardo. Blade catch. Why am I getting hyped about this blade catch when he can blade catch like this too? Holy shit, that whole sequence is so sick. One more time, one more time, Ricardo. Show me it again. Let's go. Gar, finish. Okay. Eight arms. Fuck four arms. Eight arm? This dude is Tian Shinhan from Dragon Ball. He doing that forbidden fucking third eye technique. Baldy, bro. Multiple arms are coming out. She prioritized her teammate's savior there, huh? That's pretty cool, but you can just cut fucking magic, huh? Like, damn, I don't even know how this is possible, but sure. Composite magic. Old Gora, that's interesting. It's like Goa Fura. So it's like Al Goa, Al Fura. It's basically wind and fire at the same time. Composite magic? Yeah, eight arms. Dragon. Dragon. You're the dragon? You got a dragon form? She's speaking through the dragon? That's Capella's true form? Okay. 
様。するくらい表情豊かなドラゴンだなあおおひたんてんあっさちゃすてぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅぅ Like the dragon has been like foreshadowed since like season one. Dragon Kingdom of Lagunica. This is the first dragon we're seeing. It kind of is ruining my immersion of what Volcanica could be, bro. Also, you smell particularly out of the place amongst all the meat scraps here, which means that she probably smelled. Oh, we don't know. Right? We watched that video about who can actually detect the miasma from Subaru, right? Mostly like the Oni clan and shit. Kind of beak with something that's weird, but like. The smell, I wonder if he's talking about the witch's scent or something else. Are we winning? Are we just straight up roasting this fucking dragon right now? I think so. I think Capella's confused. Is she insulted? I don't know. Special technique, buying time. Let's go. Oh, that's from season one. It worked. It worked. I can't, I can't take it seriously when your face is half burnt up, but you're making fucking panty shots. There's nothing to see down there, dragon. I'd have to actually understand a dragon anatomy. Maybe this is, there's some dragon anatomy shit. Like maybe the dragon coochie is really visible from down there. I'm not too sure. Oh, that regeneration. Now regen is crazy. You know that meme? Three dragons. Two of them look really scary. And the other one's like a derp. Well, I mean, this is exactly that. It's 100% that. <laughs> Play that shit again. <laughs> Okay, the region is crazy though. Bell rings again. They're listening to orders again. Why? She gotta listen to the orders of the gospel. Yeah, I can't believe they just sat here and just listened to the whole fucking yap session. That's crazy to me. But at this point, I don't think we have enough information to really talk about Capella's authority of lust. Other than maybe. You know, just like dragon form, human humanoid form. That's about right. And we have to assume that that actually is Capella in dragon form and not her speaking through a dragon. You never know with this fucking show, but either she can speak through a dragon and act like that, or she herself can become a dragon like that. Also, the ultra high region. <laughs> nah, I'd win. <laughs> oh. Julius going solo? <laughs> Do you think if Cruz didn't lose her memory, she would screech like this, like a dainty little girl? <laughs> Yo, that win! You gotta look good for the girl, bro. It's okay. I'm posing for the girl. Stick the landing. Stick the landing. That whip has been come clutch, right? It like caught body off, got he off guard. That was pretty cool. There's like different utilities like that. It's pretty funny how Subaru is like, yo, doesn't hurt at all. I'm trying to look cool for the girl right now. Sure, buddy. Who is it? Glutton. Gluttony butt. Different outfit. This is a different one. And remember, who are you, said Otto. And, Ot and Gluttony said, we are the Archbishop of Gluttony. Us. We. Plural. Opening also has a frame of lie having like a reflection on the water that kind of like hints at plural. Two? Two Archbishops of Gluttony? What the fuck is this? And is this Oto's outfit? I don't really know. This looks more like Chinese Chipao inspired. I hope it's not Oto's outfit. 
The hair is totally different. This is different. <laughs> Again, us has something against us. This is different. Even the hair tip is different. We. We. Episode 18, Ren. There it is. Here's the confirmation. He doesn't know that this is gluttony. But I think that he is basically understanding off of his dialogue that this could be gluttony. And now with this confirmation... Uh, this is it. Lie. Wait, wait. Alfred? This is supposed to be Lie Button Kaitos because there's more than one. Different last names though. Different last names Alfred and Button Kaitos. Meaning that they are not siblings? They're just friends in a separate race of people that look similar like this? The last name doesn't matter? Maybe their mom is also a fucking... Is wilding out like Garfield's mom and has multiple baby daddies. I don't know. Alf. Alfred. Yeah! Oh, you're gonna deal with the fucking whip, bro. No. <laughs> Is there a post-credit scene though? There's a post-credit scene though, right? Okay, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Slowly. Slowly. Frame by frame. Frame by frame. Okay. Post-credit scene. Post-credit post scene incoming. Let's go. Amelia. Oh God, Regulus. What are you doing to her? Okay, put her in a nice bed. She naked. She naked. <gasps> oh no. Regulus, what did you do to her? What'd you do to her, bro? No, 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 no. This guy is a virgin. He will remain a virgin, right? No, no, no. You don't have to worry about Amelia being deflowered. If you truly feel like you're getting cucked right now, I'm sorry. You need to stop watching anime, go touch some fucking grass, and seek a therapist. But I don't think that she got cucked, guys. No, I don't think we're getting cucked at all, guys. No, no, no. Regulus is a virgin. He, he will never lose even his virginity. No, no, no. Trust, trust, trust. Our future. <laughs> Maybe he's a virgin because every wife that he's collected was not a virgin. And he wants to, like, preserve his, like, purity. He will only make love with another virgin. Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Emilia, you <laughs> like, like, do you think Amelia even knows what virgin even means? I mean, this is a girl that's straight up, and that's the episode, by the way. But, it, it, like, it, Amelia straight up is a girl that thought that, you know, babies are made when you kiss. Now, that has been, that notion, right, has been corrected. It was that, you know, uh, new royal girl that we saw. I think her name was, fuck, I forgot. Uh... Remind me guys in chat, she's wearing all blue and uh, she's basically the one that kind of told Amelia all about that shit, but I don't know, I, I, I don't think that... <laughs> Maybe Amelia does know. Maybe Amelia does know. That's today's episode of ReZero. Another, yeah, Anerose. 10 out of 10 episode. I think the most important plot points to focus on is the fact that Al knows exactly how Tifon died. Now, the sub-translation errors apparently is happening, and rather than Al saying, so, you know, um, Tifon was drowned as a confirmation, but was kind of asking or impl or like kind of inferring, like, huh, I guess Tifon died by drowning or something like that? How the fuck would he know? How Also, how the fuck would he know about, you know, don't give gluttony your name? And another crazy thing about this sh with the naming scheme is the fact that Al has apparently episodic memory loss. Rather than complete memory being taken away, like Krush and Rem, and the name, right? Al has episodic memory loss in the web novel. I'm not sure exactly if this is like super important for the light novel and like the source material content, but maybe this kind of ties into how he may have, you know, this like memory loss issue. But Al, bro, and he's also just conveniently just fucking going away, not showing us his powers, but maybe we can see Priscilla pop off instead. Who knows what the hell she's doing right now? Right now, our goal is to basically take back that radio broadcast tower. That's causing too much damage, right? It's it's too much. Capella is is basically defending against it. And not only that, we have two people. We have Bodyguardi, and we have presumably Teresia von Austria. And why? 
Am I thinking that the person, the girl that Wilhelm is fighting is Teresia? Simple. If you know of the cut content or the references I made on the Divine Protection of the Grim Reaper, it is a wound that Wilhelm received a long time ago. His wife gave it to him because he's a fucking terrible husband that never said I love you. That's a bit of a joke. But now that she's back, it opened up. Since Mimi was also hit by it and Wilhelm had such a visceral reaction to it, right? It's clearly that this is Teresia. How could this be Teresia when Reinhardt quote unquote killed Teresia? Either Pandora, maybe she faked the death, or is it some sort of resurrection fucking Edo Tensei technique that we see in Naruto? I'm not too sure, but there's formidable opponents here right now. Garfield is really going through it. There's such a volatile emotional moment where everything is just going wrong. Who knows if his mom's your kids and the father is still alive right now, but things are looking so bad. And the fact that fucking Lai Batinkaitos, there's two of them. And this is Roy Alfred, different last names. But if we kill this guy, I bet that it's not enough. What is this going to be, bro? Is this going to be some Demon Slayer shit where you have to cut the fucking napes of both fucking brothers at the same time for them to die? I don't know. But hey, that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.